Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Coronation Street Grooming Horror has Lauren Bolton puts herself in danger with Mystery Man. Coronation Street's Lauren Bolton has had some difficulty when trying to settle into Weatherfield and struggled to stick to the straight and narrow. Coronation Street's Lauren Bolton, played by Kate Fitton, could be set to fall back into a dangerous path once again as she reveals she has a secret, rich boyfriend. Some of the residents have a hard time trusting her after her checkered past with far-right activist Griff Reynolds, Michael Condren. Her one savior was Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, who decided to give her a chance at Roy's roles, but she soon made a fool of herself whilst being arrested on shift. She has also been blackmailing Ryan Connor, Ryan Prescott, and Daisy Midgley, Charlotte Jordan, through a mystery participant after finding out about their affair. Making matters worse, Shauna Platt, Julia Golding, is sick of Lauren being constantly on her phone, and next week catches her at the precinct, rather than her call center job. In upcoming scenes, Lauren presents Max Turner, Patty Beaver, with a new watch to thank him for all he's done for her. Max is bowled over by her kindness, but can't help but worry that she spent too much on him. But she makes out she's been given a promotion at the call center. Sabrina Adetiba, Luana Santos, later corners Lauren and tells her she was out of order, buying Max a watch and needs to stop playing games. Feeling guilty for hurting Sabrina, Max returns the watch to Lauren and explains that it's too generous a gift and he can't accept it. Overhearing their conversation, Shona Platt, Julie Golding, listens in and becomes mildly suspicious as to where the money came from. Later in the cafe, Bernie Winter, Jane Haslagrove, tells Shona about the missing 80 pounds from the till. After putting two and two together, Shona confronts Lauren and accuses her of stealing the money to buy the watch and suspends her, leaving Lauren horrified. Feeling embarrassed and putting on a front, Lauren tells Shona she doesn't need the job as she has a rich boyfriend. Max and Sabrina later head around to Lauren's flat with cake and cider, but will she tell them about losing her job at the cafe? Does Lauren really have a rich boyfriend, or is she being groomed by a mystery third party?